Parents of Reddit, what did you find in your kids room that you put back and never discussed with them? When I was 9ish my mom got me a light up handheld back massager. I was obsessed with it. It looked like something space age and did wonders on my neck and back. My older teenage sister stole it from my room one day and I noticed it on her nightstand. She wouldn't give it back and I told my mom she stole it. But mom just said just let her have it. 20 years later and I finally understand. My dad used a massager back in the 90s. It had two of the ball things to hit both paraspinal muscles and didn't look like a vibrator at all. I have a recent Amazon sale version with heat and actually needs instead of just vibrating. But nothing crazy and using it every day actually makes me sore. My little sister would hunt my dad's down every day after school and go to her room. Now I get it. Gross. A pair of Spongebob boxer shorts with the Ashiks cut out. To make them into a thong. They were just trying to make bikini bottoms. Not the parent. But my sister found a stack of really hateful. Bitter. Why don't you love me? Letters her daughter had written to her absent father when she was 7 or 8. They were devastating. My sister never mentioned the letters but she did sit her down and talk to her about stuff with her dad and I think that helped. In my little sister's notebook I was just getting a piece of paper. Saw a whole page of things like you're worthless. You're stupid. I hate you. She was talking about herself. I went straight to her though. She's doing much better these days now that she has a nice boyfriend. A job she likes. And no longer lives with our crazy alcoholic mother. Condoms. Never ever take the condoms. My friend's dad found her contraceptive pill and threw it away. She was pregnant within 6 months. In high school my mom decided to clean my room as a nice gesture. She found my vibrator under my pillow. I got a text guess you're too old for me to surprise with cleaning your room. Ugh. My mom came into my room to wake me up a few years ago and decided to throw back my blanket. Found my bright pink vibrator right next to me where I had left it after passing out the night before. She kept yelling oh god I'm sorry and I was freaking out yelling I'm a goddamn adult. Why would you come in here like that? I was like 23 at a time. I love my mom but Jesus. I'm so glad I'm moving out this Thursday. I'm the kid. But once my girlfriend accidentally left her undies under my bed. Every so often when I'm away for an amount of time my mum will clean up my room and do some washing. When I got back one time. I found her undies washed with mine and left for me to put away in my room. She's never mentioned it to me. Oh lord. You brought back a memory. It was 1989. My boyfriend and I were having sex in his bedroom. We heard the garage door open and got dressed as quickly as we could to do the mad dash to the family room and pretend we were watching TV. Only. I couldn't find my panties. So I'm commando in my jeans and I told my boyfriend to look for them and honestly we both kind of forgot about it. Until the fateful day that his mother had new mattresses and box springs delivered. She was in his room when the delivery guys took the old ones off the bed frame and lo and behold pink panties under the bed. That did not go over well. He had a lecture and his dad took him aside after and gave him a box of condoms. I was already on the pill, for cramps fckun endometriosis, but he just took the condoms. It was a long time before I was able to go over there without his mom giving me the look. When I was 10 my brother was 12 we were staying the weekend at our grandpa's house way out in the country. I found a CCK ring in the bathroom and being 10 I obviously had no clue what it was so I showed it to my brother. He told me what it was and we ran outside in the middle of the night and chucked it into the woods because we panicked. Thankfully grandpa never asked about his missing CCK ring. I'm about to be 17. And seeing this now has me worried what they've found over the years. Think of it this way, if they didn't find it. They don't know. If they did. They clearly decided, rightly or wrongly. I have no idea what you were hiding. It wasn't a big deal or you were mature enough for it. Not a parent but found a note in my brother's room talking about killing my cat. Note. He never has. Holy shit. That really does seem like something you should have told him you've seen. Hopefully that note doesn't reflect his entire personality. 
an entire nightstand drawer full of used feminine hygiene products. I wanted to ask why. But I felt like any conceivable answer would just beckon more questions. I did something similar once. My family, except for my mother, made fun of me every time I had my period. It was absolute hell every month, they basically dismissed any opinions or emotions I expressed. So I tried to hide it from them as much as possible. When my mother went away on a trip for work, they would have known it was me throwing them in the trash. So I kept them in a plastic bag in my room instead. Anyways. Your kid could feel self-conscious about throwing their feminine hygiene products out in the trash or may just have not known how they were supposed to deal with it, assuming that the products were used by your kid and that they aren't just keeping someone else's products. Was looking for my vibrator that mysteriously disappeared from my drawer. Looked in the teenager's room. Not there. Went to my 5 year old's room and there it was sitting on top of his dresser. In all its glory. I was too scared to ask anyone how my lightsaber got there so just took it back and hid it in my room. Girlfriend had the neighborhood kids over to hang with her daughter. So one of the 5 year old kids comes into the living room holding onto her dildo. They had wandered off into the bedroom and grabbed it out of the nightstand. Her telling. She calmly removed it from the child without incident. Put it up and continued her conversation with her neighbor in the living room. Obviously they spoke about the incident later and apparently they both thought it was gross but funny. Toys are locked up now. I'm the child in this story. I was about 10 or 11 and feeling really guilty for being a horrible person. Silly kid stuff. I don't remember exactly what. Maybe it was as simple as not saying I love you enough. I felt I had to atone somehow so I started writing I love you dad. Love you mum. Love you sister 1. Love you sister 2 inches and did it over and over almost like the lines you'd get as punishment in school. I did a full page and then completely forgot about them. My room was very messy and my parents didn't enforce me to clean it, silly of them. In my defense I most likely have undiagnosed ADHD but that's besides the point. What is the point is that it may have been months later or even years later but I found that piece of paper again and I was cringing for having written it. But at the bottom in my dad's handwriting was one final line. We love you too. My son is a very talented artist. While cleaning his room. We found a drawing that he'd done as sort of a three part comic strip. First panel. There was a pretty girl wearing bib overalls. The kind with the straps over the shoulder. Second panel. One of the strap buttons popped loose and the strap was flying back over her shoulder as the overalls started to fold down. Third panel. The girl. Breast exposed. Had a perfect look of surprised embarrassment on her face. The reason we didn't say anything was because he was a pretty shy 11 year old and we didn't want him to stop drawing by embarrassing him. I regret not taking a picture of it. Though. Because it was really impressive artwork for a kid. My grandma found a doldo I didn't like. Brought it upstairs to show my mom and laugh. And then suggested she reject it to me in front of my whole family on Christmas morning. My grandma is savage AF and I'm lucky to have a sliver of her humor. I was around 14 and ordered a book online about SX back when they just sent you anything if you promised you were over 18 and would pay for it later. 1996 I Ike. This was no regular book. It was nearly 500 pages. A Letha bound holy grail of sex. My father or mother found it one day under my bed and I thought I would be in so much trouble. But they never said anything. A few weeks later. I go looking for it and under their bed. I find my book. A printed out copy of the anarchist cookbook. And a VHS of heavy metal. I took it all and nothing has even been said about it to this day. One of them found the VHS. And I am pretty sure it was my mom. Thinking it was mine. Due to the looks of disappointment shortly thereafter I was getting. Not the parent but the kid whose dad went through my room looking for something else. I was going through some really awful depression. I was 21 at the time and used alcohol as my medicine and I had stashed a bunch of bottles in my room. I'd hide them and also my parents never ever went into my room so I wasn't too worried about it. I came home from my friend's house one day and he had all of the bottles out for me to see. I instantly felt sick inside. 
My dad had me go upstairs and talk to him about it and instead of being angry at his young adult kid drinking the way I was. He told me how sad he felt that I was going through something all alone. I ended up going to rehab and learned how to live my life sober. I ended lots of relationships that were pulling me down. I may not even be here today if we never had that conversation. Also. I'm so very thankful for him. Edit. I do realize the question states but did not discuss with them. I just thought this story could help if a parent found something like this. Not a parent but I'm pretty sure my dad found my first bong and never mentioned it. One day it was just missing and I was so scared that I left it in an obvious spot after smoking and I'd get in trouble. It's been like 10 years since that and I'm still to this day curious what happened. Lol. My dad found my wee once. Then after discovering it started pilfering little amounts whenever I would ray up all the way through my senior year until I moved out. Told me about it like 5 years later. 10 stroke 10. Will do if I ever find my kid's stash. I was laying peel and stick tiles in our bathroom. And found a couple of mild nudie mags hidden under the big package of TP. At about that time. Youngest son came home and was a bit panicked. But never said anything at the time. I made sure to place the magazines back when I was done tiling. I showed them to my wife. And joked that I should have substituted granny gang bangs or similar. I still regret not doing it. We had to move our kid out of a bad living situation. She wasn't in any condition to help. So wife and I go in and just start grabbing her stuff. We come across her adult baby fetish gear. Like two duffel bags of it. Giant on Aziz. Binkis. Diapers etc. Wife looked at me. I looked at her. We shut each bag and have never spoken of it again. One day I decided to tackle the disaster that was my 9 year old son's bedroom. It was impressive. How much crap he had on his floor. And as a one time 9 year old boy myself I had to give him props. Then I found. Tucked away in his bookshelf a ziplock bag filled with plastic sporks. An entire school year's worth from the cafeteria. There were hundreds of them. All packed into this gallon sized bag. I stared at them for a long time. Put them back where I found them and decided he should clean his own room more often. I missed confess. I talked to him a couple weeks later. After finding one in his coat pocket. I told him it probably wasn't sanitary to have laying around. I let my gaze linger on him for an extra second and his expression changed. Well. I guess I need a new hobby. He said. I bought him a rock collection starter kit the next day. When my late husband was 21. And we'd been dating for a year. He had an MRI for something concerning. And then went back to work. Leaving his worried about his MRI mom from up north. Who was just there for his medical stuff. In his apartment alone with nothing to do. So she cleaned. A lot. When he came home his normally messy room was spotless. His bed was freshly made with the bible he'd gotten at his church confirmation atop the pillow. And on top of that. A condom wrapper that must have made its way under the bed in our haste. In his closet. His once hidden playboy cheerleaders VHS tape was now quite prominently displayed on a shelf. She never said a word to him about anything. She shot dagger eyes at me next time she saw me though. I kept my stash of goods in the insulation behind the attic door. My sister told me my mom found it so I checked it and the condoms were spread across the ground inside and the insulation peeled back. I freaked out bc I also had a quarter lb of weed in the insulation but she was apparently so upset over the condoms she pulled the insulation down and left. Lucky break I suppose. That was a long time ago don't sell drugs kids lol. I was the kid but had a relevant experience. When 50 shades of grey first came out. I bought the book and left it on my bookshelf. My parents never really looked around my room in depth like that and aren't really up on pop culture. So I didn't think it'd be a thing. Welp. My mom I guess had at least heard of 50 shades. She's too out of touch to actually have understood the premise. And saw that I had it. So she took it from me without asking. She still does this. Snoops and just takes things. I hate it. I didn't notice it was gone until one day probably a few months later. 
When I was looking for some documents in her room and I pulled open a drawer and saw my copy of 50 shades and there. With a bookmark and everything. I didn't even know WTF to do, like my mom stole my erotica. Do I take it back? Do I even want it back? So I just closed the drawer and never mentioned it. She never gave it back either. Not a parent but I was roommates with my older brother. Sometimes when he would bring a girl to the apartment he would ask me to clean up a bit his room. So this one day he asks and I go in. I just do the bed and sweep really quick. So I'm sweeping and under the bed I found an used condom. I just push the condom back under the bed. With the broom and left the room. Needless to say next time he asked her just do the bed trying not to touch anything. This is a the complete opposite. But I was looking in my parents room for something, I honestly don't even remember what it was, and I found a drawer with nudie mags and a prostate massager. I mean. Obviously my parents do it. But I never thought my dad was the type to have a. Well. Anyways. My aunt found a razor on my male cousin's table. But nothing on his visible body seems like he shaved. Don't have to be smart to know where he uses that razor instead. He said they never talked about it. It had been around a month now. When I was 11-12 I was snooping around my 17 year old brother's room and I found a gun. I don't know why or how or whose it was. I took it and threw it in a sewer and never said anything to him about it. We're in our 30s now and I still wouldn't say anything lol. I don't know if a sewer was a good place for it. My parents always confronted me with everything. Why'd you write that you liked a boy? Are you dating him? You know you're not allowed to date. Why'd you write about not doing well on your test? Why didn't you properly study for it? Why is there an imprint in your mattress? Are you doing drugs? Comma it was actually from a SX toy I had moved when we were in the middle of moving. What is this note? Why are you passing notes in class? Comma I was in college. The note was from my friend and I being goofy during a break. But then they turn around and ask me to open up to them. Mmeo. No. Not even to this day. And I'm almost 30. Not a parent but I went through my little sister's bedroom when she still lived at my parents house. She's 9 years younger than me. Anyway I needed to find her spare car key so I could move her car to clear out some snow and I looked in the drawer of her nightstand and found a vibrator and some weed paraphernalia. Needless to say I shut the drawer quick and stopped looking for her keys and just waited for her friend to bring her home to move her car. Lesson learned. My best friend and I would wait until my parents left to turn the house upside down looking for change to go to McDonald's. We called ourselves the dollar menu millionaires well. You can guess that we went into my parents drawers and jewelry boxes and to our horror discovered very explicit spread eagle polaroids my dad must have took of my stepmom. I can still see them now. We no longer went in their room for change. Didn't say a word. Could never look at her the same. Parents have read it. Why the hell are you invading your kid's space? I am a dad to a now adult woman. I never went through her stuff it shows a lack of trust. If you build a strong relationship with your child you don't need to break their trust and can have open and honest conversations with them. Any one of us parents would have been all were furious if our parent went through our things so why is it okay for you to do it? Anything that my mom did as a parent that broke trust of was disrespectful I in turn learned from it and did not do those same things to my daughter. Don't do to your kids what you didn't want your parents doing to you. Not a parent but I wish my mom could have the decency to respect my space and treat my brother and I equally. This was back when I bought my first dildo. My mom borrowed my purse without telling me. I left the dildo in there and she found it. It was brand new and unopened. She woke me up from a nap to have a talk. She was crying and acting like I killed someone. Meanwhile. Last year she found condoms and my brother's weed stash but didn't confront him. I hate these double standards for men and women. Ironically. When my grandmother and aunt visit. They snoop in my mom's room and she hates it. I'm the kid. My mom is a big snoop. And one time she stole a small knife, gifted to me by my aunt, 
from inside of my pillow and also stole two other daggers which were also gifted to me. She now has them hidden behind a pot in her office and she thinks I don't know that they are there. SMH I do school in there every day and get bored. Look around the room. And one time when she wasn't in there I saw the hilt of one of my daggers. I peeped behind there and sure enough. There they were. Mother dearest. If you are reading this. You are a snoop and should respect my god's damned privacy. Maybe the most evil thing I have ever done was tell my little brother to go show my mom the cool vibrating stick he found in her room in the middle of her dinner party. He proceeded to dance with it in the kitchen and click through all the speed settings until she had to rip it from his hands and run upstairs. My mom still doesn't know that the most embarrassing moment of her life was masterminded by her own son. Not a parent. And not a bedroom. But my parents and I keep finding my brother's pocket PSSY on the edge of the tub because the moron keeps forgetting to bring it back to his room. Every time I see it I turn around and walk out. Someone else can deal with that. However. To my horror. My parents have both on separate occasions picked it up with their bare hands to bring it back to his room and I saw my mom squishing IT. With disgust in her eyes. One time. I'm pretty sure no one has had the heart to talk to my brother about it though. I'm the kid in this situation. I had a flashlight and got one use out of it before my dad found it and pulled it out at the dinner table and questioned me about it. I'm 18. It was a self gift for my 18th birthday. No. He didn't give it back. Not a parent talking about their kid but a kid talking about their parent. Me and my sister were nosy little shits who liked to dig around in our parents stuff. One day my sister calls me into their closet and opens up my dad's sock drawer. She digs around a bit and pulls out a massive dido in a sock as well as a bottle of lube. We never talked about it again. When I was a teenager I struggled with an eating disorder due to pressure from my mom and trainer to be extremely thin. I would take potassium and magnesium because otherwise I would get heart palpitations. My mom confiscated the supplements from my room. Thank god I'm a healthy adult now. So this is a bit off topic. But I think OP might be interested in this story. When I was a teen my mother was awful about snooping in my room to borrow money to gamble with. She had a pretty serious problem. So one day after school, 9th grade, she comes to pick me up and is all weird. She says I went in your room and you wanna know what I found a book in the bottom of your sock drawer? Well I'm no idiot and I know this is undeniable so I just fess up. I had a hollowed out book with a couple condoms, I have another story about buying these. About 500 in cash, varied denominations. A switchblade. A few pornographic clippings from motorcycle magazines. You'll know the ones. And a burn phone. A carefully confess while still not being too direct about what was in the book. Apparently she is mad about nothing but the condoms. She saw them and didn't bother going through anything else she was so mad. She told me she'd have my dad talk to me and straighten me out but he never did. My best assumption was she either didn't tell him because she knew he'd be mad she was trying to steal my money to gamble or she did tell him and he didn't care cause my dad was somewhat uninvolved I'm my dating life. When I got the talk as a teen it was come here son have a burger. I see you got you a girlfriend. Just make sure they are 16 and be careful. I had kids too young. No for a plot twist luckily she didn't snoop more cause I had some major issues as a teen and I had been hiding more money which I'd gotten through less the reputable means along with a loaded pistol, blink. My mom was staring perplexed by my little brother's homemade weed pipe. That she had found in his sock drawer. Just as I was walking by. Doing a double take. I stopped and she asked me what do you think this is? Double quote. Me. A kazoo. That's his kazoo mom. Oh. Okay. I then had a little chat with my 14 year old brother about drugs and told him to hide his kazoo a little better.